Hi guys, I'm um, Hunterian1986 here. It's been a long, long, long time since I last uh, filmed anything for YouTube, but uh, given the circumstances this weekend, I feel it's only right to do a, a really, really quick two minute uh, video of where I am. So um, I'm with my good friend uh, Dustin, Dustin from bushcrafttools.com. Um, so you've seen him all at the shows, he does all the fire pistons. So if you're interested, ch check him out, um, bushcrafttools.com. Um, but he's also got uh, a YouTube channel. So he has been working with his good friend, uh, TA Outdoors. I'm sure you all know him. He's very well known in the community. Um, and they've been building a Viking shelter. So uh, me and a couple of friends have come down to, to kind of chill Dustin, have some um, beers, do some bushcraft, wild camping, um, and just catch up really, because we don't get to see each other that often. Um, and, and Mike um, from, from TA Outdoors and his father, from uh, Graham from Totally Awesome Fishing are here. And, you know, it's really cool and we've been um, we've been helping so in no way have I helped uh, massively with the the Viking shelter but you know me and a couple of boys we've, we've lent a hand where we can today um, and uh, I'll make sure I don't post this video before they Dustin and, and Mike have posted theirs because it'd be unfair but um yeah I will um, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what we've done today welcome back to the Viking house today we're gonna be making well we're putting points on these stakes we're going to surround the Viking house with stakes, maybe every one or two meters, and pick up lots of branches and weave them in to create almost a village, a, a small country village, maybe African village style perimeter. So, yeah, again, behind the scenes, here's the shelter. We're all going to chip in and, um, yeah, we'll bring you back on the progress. So I'm with, uh, with Dustin, Camilla. Say hello. Hello. My, uh, my friend Danny. Hi. And, uh, this is our food tonight. This is um, going on the meat copter. Um, you may have seen it in, in Mike and Dustin's previous video, but we are, we are deep case in the action tonight and we're going to have a, a proper meat feast. Basically, this is going to hang over the fire, no sorry, between two fires, indirect cooking. This is going to turn like this, the fire is going to heat it and cook it over the next two, three, maybe four hours, slow cooking. It'll taste really good, lovely rub, stuffed it with some wild chive and some wild garlic. Tell you what. James, uh, he's baking the bread tonight. He's needed a nice dough mix. We're just proving it over the fire. So it's doubling in size. Fingers crossed if he's done yep. it right. Let's is. have a look, let's have a look. So uh, we are outside, hang on, let's do it this way. We are outside the, this way, sorry. Outside the, um, the Viking shelter. So we're inside, we've got the fire on the go. Dutch oven, um, you know, we've got the, we've got the, uh, the loaf in there that's been kneaded. Um, and it's just proving, it's going to prove roughly for 40 minutes or so, just in, in a warm spot, it's not on a hot part of the fire, um, and then we'll bake it. But uh, yeah, the shelter is amazing. What we've done, and what we've helped with, you know, and I, again, I can't take any credit for it, because Dustin and Mike and Graham have worked really, really hard making this an epic shelter, and if you haven't seen the videos, I'll tag both their channels in this video. Um, it's incredible. It's a, it's a seven-part se se uh, season so far of, of what they've done to build this. Um, it's all cedar barked roof, it's epic inside and what we've done today, this is a new feature, so we've built a kind of like African village um, fence, it's almost a stop, you know, if you imagine if this shelter was in an African village, stop animals kind of trying to get through the shelter, so um, we've helped with that today and it's been awesome. Um, the woodland here that Dustin uses is, is, is fantastic and this shelter, it's, it's cool, it's, it's really special to be, to be, you know, to help out and even just to put a few hours work into it because it's um it's awesome so yeah we um like i say i don't do youtube that much these days um but it, this is too much of a good opportunity not to not to film and, and just show you really briefly so uh, guys i may or may not do a couple more bits um of filming this evening we're definitely gonna have a beer that's for certain anyone that knows me knows that i like a beer when i'm out camping um but yeah guys this is incredible check out ta outdoors um, check out uh, Graham, so uh, Totally Awesome Fishing, and of course check out my good friend Dustin, uh, bushcrafttools.com, because um, they've, uh, they've done an awesome job. Um, so yeah, for the time being, um, we'll see you in the next part. James, let's have a look. Moment of truth, has your bread proved? I mean, what we mean is, has it doubled in size? Oh yeah, Boom. look at that dough. That's what we're on about. So now we need to stick it over a few, not many, a few hot coals, then put lots of hot coals over the top. The reason why we only put it over a few hot coals is because we don't want it to burn from underneath. And uh, we've got, um, we need still need to play around with it slightly, but we've got our, our leg of lamb um, and our meat copter. So we just need to meat play around copter. with the blades slightly. Yeah, but to um, play with the blades, like James said. 
these are old blades, they've dried and they're kind of like shriveled and have gone crusty. But we need to get some fresh stuff so it holds its shape. Right, we'll bring you back when this bad boy's cooked. Well, let's just do James, have a look at your loaf. It's looking good. It's looking a great. Bit on the side, a little bit on the side there. So I've just flipped it over. That's the top. The top got a little bit warm as well. But as you can hear, it sounds hollow all the way around. Perfect. So guys, um, as you've seen, the uh, Dustin uh, took over the channel for a second, and the bread's cooking. Oh, sorry, the bread's cooked. It's Bloody awesome! I didn't think it'd be as good as it was. Um, the meat is going to be another two or three hours, I guess. Uh, but we've built up both f uh, fires either side of the meat, so the meat copter is spinning through the heat rising. It's pretty sweet. And yeah, um, what do you think? I don't. I haven't. Like I said, I haven't done YouTube for a long time. Life got in the way, and I got busy, and I've been blessed to have a, a one-year-old baby boy now, so that takes a lot of my time. Um, but what do you think? Like, should I do some more videos? Um, well, what do you want to see? Because my videos before, they're quite gonzo style. They're, they're rough and ready. They're not that edited. But uh, I do get up to the odd adventure. So, you know, comment below. Should I should I do um, more videos in the future? But, um, you know, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to eat this bit of bread. Uh, bring you back when the meat's cooked and uh, we're having a bit of a feast. I was meant to be waking up on the bench. Oh, you woke up in the car? I woke up in the car, yeah. Here we go guys, the uh, the lamb has been cooking for, what, three and a half hours so far maybe? Um, and it's probably going to go for another maybe half hour, 40 minutes, but we're going to take our first uh, shaving off tonight, and just have, just, just a, a taste test, a uh, bit of quality control. So um, guys, um, I'm not going to do any more filming tonight, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, if you are glad that I'm back on YouTube, um, yeah, tell me if I should, if I should do some more videos. So. Um, I might film again in the morning, but uh, guys, if I don't, that's me, Hunterian, 1986, uh, stay safe, take care. Boom.